Hello everybody and welcome to your 16th C++ SFML platformer tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to continue where we left off. Uh, so we left off by just um, deallocating everything whenever we call unload content, right? Uh, so right now we, we got our fade animation and stuff um, set up and we, we got our images or should get our images loaded, right? So now it uh, it's just a, it's just a matter of, of getting everything um, Right, so what I'm going to do is for fade eye, I'll call fade, um, fade eye dot, no, sorry, it should be a pointer, unload content. So if there's any content I loaded, then I can unload it, then we delete it, um, and then we clear it. Uh, so yeah, so we've got our, our, we, well, we hope that we get our images loaded, right? We don't do any error check here or anything, but... Uh, we get our images loaded so now uh, it's a matter of doing something with our images so for now I don't have any images in my project folder so I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna show you the images I have okay so I have uh, created a, a folder called splash within my project folder and it contains three images image 1.png image 2.png and image 3.png uh, so let me go ahead and open up um, the splash at CME. I never, I never specified a file format. Uh, so let me do this before I get any errors. So they're all PNG files. Uh, so uh, if we go that splash, so I got my three images, and um, these are transparent backgrounds. So what I'm gonna do is for the splash screen, we're just gonna cycle through each of these images, and then we'll show the title screen after. Now it might not be the ideal way you want to handle. Um, you want to handle it it's up to you whichever way you want to handle it but this is the way I'm just showing you how to do it and just a quick demonstration on how to do it so we we should have our, our files loaded in and, and everything uh, should be set up uh, so now it comes to updating it so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna call fade dot I'll call fade zero dot update Oh, I keep on forgetting the pointer update and the window and I'm gonna call fade zero dot draw okay so oh wait what did I do I did the wrong thing huh okay I'm gonna get an error, but you should have called fade zero and pointer to the draw command. And we pass in our window. Okay, so let me stop this from building. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and restart it when it's done. Okay, so we do we, we run into some errors when we try to run it. Um so let us see we went wrong uh, so what we got to do uh, we need to include the file manager class and I think that should get rid of a lot of the errors Okay, so yeah, it looks like it got rid of the errors. Um, so now it says fail to load image, uh, unable to open file. Oh, so the thing is that I I specify them to the load directory to load slash um image one, but the file I actually put them in is called splash. Um, so what I gotta do is just change these all to splash. And this is why we do it in an external um, text file. Imagine we had to recompile this all over again. We're not going to want to do that, right? But when we change it here, it doesn't have to rebuild. It doesn't have to recompile. We just change the external text file, and then it, it does that for us. So you don't have to continuously recompile when we don't need to. Okay, so I, we assume that they um, loaded our images correctly. Uh, but now we're not getting anything displayed to our screen. So now we got to check for what we went wrong on the splash screen um, section. Uh, so let us go down to our drawing code. And 
this is where it's going wrong because we're not it's not drawing anything right uh, so we're, let's go to the fade animation and when we make our call to draw we draw from our base animation class so if we go to our base animation class what should happen is that we should be drawing this image right here so uh, let's see if it actually uh, draws the corresponding image so therefore it's not reaching this section of the code or we should check to see if it's actually reaching this section of the code to be certain so it is reaching here but when it's saying not equals null then it's not passing by there right um, so basically it's saying our sprite is null so therefore we never actually um, our image uh, never got we never got to actually set our image so let us see if um, this is being program uh, so let us um, stop the debugging uh, so it does reach the code where it says sprite dot set image Oh, I believe the problem is that we're setting it to the image in the parameter but not our actual image that we set it to so let's do this image because it needs to still have a reference to the image I believe that it's pointing to uh, so let's try rerunning this And it does in fact reach the drawing code so let's see so we get our text that we're supposed to be drawing to the screen okay so exactly how we want it we get the text drawn to the screen and so we can exit that so uh, for splash screen to work um, efficiently what we want to have is this so we want to go to splash screen dot H uh, let me open this up uh, so let me just drag this over here um, so we want to go to splash screen.h and in our private section we want to have uh, something called image number and in the load content what we're going to say we're going to set image number equals to zero okay uh, so simple enough and what we're going to say is that um, image number uh, update and we'll say fade image number or oh, actually by default what we'll say right here we'll say fade fade dot size dot active set active equals to true uh, since we're never going to be going back to a previous image then it doesn't really matter if we set them all to true by default um, so what's going to happen now is we're going to get an error once it reaches the last image right because uh, it's not going to be any image to draw at oh sorry we didn't even increase image number the value of image number but what you're going to see what you should be seeing is it fading in and out which it really isn't and the reason it isn't is because we don't specify that in our animation class so what we got to do is uh, well, in our draw section or I guess our hmm we could do this in the update or draw section I guess I'll do it in the update so we'll say that sprite dot set color and we'll just set to white and uh, we'll say 255 times alpha depending on the number um, system that you're using and it should be SF color as of color and we put these in brackets so in our fade animation dot cpp then after we do all our animation code then we got to make a call to animation update and that's uh, that's fairly simple and we just got to pass in the window and that should be simple so our image should be fading in and out So if we notice our, our image fades in and out, in and out. Uh, so what we got to do is go to splash screen and then we got to, uh, we're going to say that if, uh, 
fade image number dot get out oh, pointer to get alpha uh, is equal to less than or equal to 0, 0.0 f uh, then we increase image number and um, let's run this I believe we should run this up here so it fades out and it should show the second image oh uh, simply I never increased the image number Okay, so let's run this one more time. Shows the next image and it shows the last image. And we run into an error. So uh, that image is obvious because um, we don't have a next image to go to, right? So what we can do now is that we can say that, um, we're gonna say if the, the key is pressed, the key that we input is pressed, or if image number, is uh, greater than or equal to fade dot count that size uh, minus one and so we're gonna say that if fade if image number uh, not equal to fade dot size minus one then we update it uh, so let us uh, try this out and as you can see after it reaches the last image and it fades out and then it goes into transitions into the new screen so whether you press the enter key or if we press another key it will fade out and it will transition to the next screen uh, so uh, that is it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and bye